No, it's not a savage attack by these young people on their parents, but Living History Day at Wimberball. This was part of a session on Iron Age Britain, in which children got to get involved with reenacting a battle. At the event, which is the first of its kind here, the old ways of life were on display, including fire starting, pencil making, and stories from the Viking era. <laughs> Soon all of the gods came round saying, what's the matter? It's been uh, really nice, sort of laid back, chilled atmosphere, except for the Celtic battles, of course, where people have actually been fighting one another and uh, knocking ten bells out of each other. But other than that, it's been very good natured, sort of uh, lovely day. and The weather's been good and kind. Why do you think it's important that young people engage with their history? I think it's useful to know and important to know where we come from uh, and how we came to be where we are today. Um, you know... History for me has always been, I've always been interested in history from a very young age. So for me, it's just, it's kind of like the air that I breathe. It's been brilliant. Um, we always love getting the, the children involved and so on, uh, showing the combat, showing the, the getting the children doing the, the combat as well, because it's about inspiring a passion and a, a love of the period and an interest in it. And if they just take away that interest, even if they don't remember all the various things I'm telling them, then hopefully it will lead on to other things later in life. So. Down on the water, the South West Lakes Trust, which manages Wimberball, took ownership of a replica Iron Age vessel. The Carrick Project in Minehead built the boat as part of a scheme where long-term unemployed people teamed up with specialist builders to construct it. Yes, we're gifting it to the South West Lakes Trust. Uh, these vessels, the ribs, have a 10-year lifespan. Um, it is a piece of living history, but it's not a museum piece. It's an absolutely fantastic vessel to use. And we uh, are very sure that the South West Lakes Trust will be using it all the time. The event was well received and organisers were happy to see so many people enjoying their visit. I'm really pleased how it's going so far. We've got loads of people on site, loads of families, um, loads of kids having a good time, um, making pencils, archaeological digs. We've got the Kurak boat you can see here. Um, so we're giving some free boat tours on that. Um, we've got a pre-Roman Britain reenactment society. And um, yeah, just a really fun but educational day. Is this an event you'll be looking to grow and expand for future years? Yeah, definitely. Um, we'd definitely like to do it again next year um, and have more, more to see and more to do, more involvement. So anyone else who's interested in getting involved, get in touch with me here at Wimberball. And um, yeah, we'll hopefully see you next year. So if you missed out this year, you may be in luck as the event looks set to become part of the Wimberball calendar. Lewis Clark for MDG News at Wimberball.